Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jason Blanc. And I'm Wes Eldridge. And this is Inside the Shot, where we break down some of our favorite commercials and show you the tips and tricks behind them. Yeah, today we're going to be looking at our uh, 2021 demo reel opening shot. So we had three main goals that we were trying to accomplish when we were concepting our intro shot. We know that we wanted to show off our technology, we wanted to show the capabilities of that technology, and most importantly, we wanted to do something that we have never done before. You know, throwing ideas out there, trying to figure out what we want to do, and we kind of came up with this idea of doing a, a one -er from our back studio, following all this action, have the bolt in there, have the RC car in there, then come in and reveal that we have this whole other scene built out in our main volume and pull back as far as we can to reveal everything. And it was important for us while we were coming up with it to come up with our wish list of, hey, this would be stuff that we would be like to get, and then also some stuff that, hey, if this isn't working out, what's our plan B? Yeah, we kind of had some moments where we are like, we can cut here, cut this section out. Basically, each scene had its own in and out points. So starting out, we, we started in this kind of dimly lit hallway with a, uh, a boxer kind of warming up, getting ready to go. We, all we had was this, uh, this simple Leco here kind of blasting through. Um, nice, sharp, hard light. You can see it on his edge over here. And then everything else that you're seeing on the walls here was literally just the house lights. The idea behind it is always to build the story. We had this idea of pools of light mm -hmm. that are leading us from one point to the next. So as you can see, we started off in a dark hallway. We moved to a more bright scene, and the scene that you'll see after this is dark too. So we wanted there to be a constant like rhythm of lights coming in and going away. Going back to what our goals were, it was to show off the technology, and obviously our Bolt robot, which is right over here, is one of our coolest pieces of technology. And then this is just a background on our Studio B LED wall. So with this scene, we knew that we were gonna have to do the handoff from the Movi to the jib, and that was always a problem that was lingering, and we also wanted to keep it visually interesting the whole time so that we kind of hide the handoff. The volume is massive, so we needed a jib and everything to be able to show off the scale of the volume. When we land here, that couple second or two is the guys dumping the, the Movi on the jib, lo locking it up, pulling the tape, pulling the stand out the way, Dayton grabs it, and basically once Vanessa walks out, that's when that pullback starts. We had Gina, our RPA, come in and do all this art design stuff in here, just filling out the scene from front to back. One of the biggest things that we did here that really helped sell everything is this wet down here. You can actually see that we didn't mop all the way around, but this window reflection here really helps sell the fact that this is actually in a real environment. When using Unreal like we do, you really need to put those realistic elements in your foreground and in your frame to help sell the effect that you are in the place that you are. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you learned something that you can use on your next shoot. We'll see you next time on Inside the Shot.